City leaders in Salem searching for new possible sites to build a micro shelter community for the homeless. They had to scrap their original proposed site set to go along Wallace Road. And Elise Haas has been reporting on this for weeks now. And you're following up, Elise. What caused them to call off that location? Jeff, I will say that this area along Wallace Marine Road that was, was that proposed site was very hotly debated, especially by the neighbors next door. But when I talk to city officials, they say that wasn't the reason for canceling this site. In our project in West Salem on Wallace Road, our maps originally told us it was not in a floodplain and not a wetland. The city of Salem's homeless liaison tasked with finding sites for micro shelters says it was local knowledge from neighbors that prompted the city to do a study which determined there is substantial wetlands on this property. There's not enough city owned property there to, to move forward with the site. What are the options? There's not a lot of options. As a former commercial real estate developer and lifelong Salem resident, Zach Stone is helping the city identify shelter sites. Finding the property is the hard thing. Uh, city owned property is not going to do it. We might have to have private landowners that have vacant land lease the land from them so they can put in these shelters. The city says they'd welcome partnerships with private landowners. We would love to borrow land. We would love to lease land. You know, we would love to talk about purchases. Everyone talks a big game. Now is the time to really come together as a community, find the right location, get these shelters built and help these people get off the streets. With options for sites shrinking, the city is hoping hearts will start opening. We really need the help. And the city and their partners tell me that they are making at least some headway on indoor shelters ahead of the winter months, which is so crucial. But they are hitting these dead ends for finding these options for the micro shelters outdoors. And I talked to a woman today who had great success getting in the micro shelter and then immediately getting into transitional housing. So it's definitely helping already. So if you are a private landowner or a resident who has some ideas for a place that this might work, the city is asking you to email them. I've included that email address at coin.com. Live in West Salem, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.